Now, reservists with the Royal Wessex Yeomanry have been shooting pistols for the first time. It was all part of a weekend of training, which also included the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers rescuing a vehicle from a flooded path. Hannah Gurney has more. It's the first time Trooper Baker has held a gun, let alone fired one. This morning was the first time really I've handled the pistol, so it's all fairly new. So um, I had to pass my weapon handling test this morning and then I was allowed to come onto the range and practice. They're a lot more powerful than I, I thought, than I expected. <laughs> so yeah, so far really good. This exercise is aimed at getting the reservists used to handling their weapons and also feeling confident on the range. We then bring on and start going through the coaching techniques. They need to get their breathing right, they need to get the position hold right so they've got their the, the weapon point in the right direction um, and, and go through the, the marksmanship principles with them um, and sort of try and put it into a term so that they can understand. Trooper Paylor signed up to be in the reserves in November. Now he's firing a pistol for the first time. It, it wasn't that much of a, of a surprise or anything. I mean, I know what I'm getting, getting myself into. And I suppose having come through basic, um, I've spent a lot of time this year already um, handling weapons and, and whatnot. Um, it's just a different type. Um, it's a different type to get your head around. It's a much shorter, obviously, so there's, you know, there's a bit more of a, a kick in the wrist rather than a kick in the shoulder. I've been at work all week. It's nice to come out for the weekend, do something like this, and, um, and then, well, get back to work on Monday, I suppose. <laughs> Down the road from the camp on Bovington Heath, members of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers Regiment are practising recovering a vehicle from a flooded road. Yeah, well, yesterday we were driving around the area and then we basically during the night we got bogged in got into the casualty so we tried to do self-assistance by doing it ourselves we couldn't so we had to call in the assistance the Remy assistance to help us put us out first the soldiers wade through the mud to attach a winch to the stranded vehicle so we have to walk through the the obstacle to make sure there's no divots or boulders or anything that can cause damage to the vehicle so we do a walk through first of all and then we walk up with with the winch and connect it up once it's happy with that, the driver gets into the vehicle, under the command, gets pulled out. It's important before the vehicle's pulled out that an anchor point's in place to act as extra support. Each pin has, well, each plate has 16 pins which holds four ton. So we use two of them because it's a 12 ton vehicle. Even though it's empty, we still need that extra support because it's on our angle. All of the training taking place in Bovington acts to refresh these reservist skills. As the only armour reserve regiment, it needs to be ready to support the three regular tank regiments. We're trying to stack events, so to bring the regiment together so that we are um, showing everybody all of the skills that they can use uh, in combination. And training really, for, uh, to, to be valuable, training needs to consist of a physical element, a conceptual element and a moral element. Uh, and we can start giving them all of those uh, as soon as they are willing and able to come in on a Wednesday night uh, and on a weekend to, uh, to train with us. With the Army planning on doubling the number of reservists by 2020, this regiment's search for fresh talent continues. Hannah Gurney, Forces News in Bovington.